everybody's like this. You go fishing and you can get that gut sinking feeling if you don't catch any. Oh my God. I don't need footage, that's a big one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, the taste test. Subscribe to Dom's. Welcome back, folks. Today we are going for those magnificent blue crabs. So someone asked about the setup for crabbing. Look, pretty simple. You got the crab net. You got one of these floats, and you got one of these clips to put your bait on. Now you can get ga uh, cages, which I'll show you. Oh, there's a fair bit of weed here. So this is a leftover from a tailor trip. So I put that right there. Put the clip through the head. Now it's risky keeping it like this because it's just going to get attacked by all the blowfish and whatnot. And then we just throw it in the water. Wait five, ten minutes. Pull them up. See if there's any crabs. Okay, so I'm in position. Got all my pots baited. It's a matter of just dropping them over and hope for the best. Now I do apologise in advance if my camera gets wet, a bit smudgy. I do wear the GoPro on my chest. I'll try and clean it every now and then, but sometimes it might be possible. Number one. Now, because it's windy and I've got that sun in my eyes, I want to mark the spot so I can remember. Spot number two. Make sure you tie these floats on properly. I can come unstuck. <laughs> Done that a few times. Righty. So that's nine pots. I'm legally allowed to have ten per boat. And that's heaps. Now let's have a drink. It's so fast. And just sit back and wait about five, ten minutes. Right, so in the meantime, I'm going to try one as you can see i can't see where my pots are after this sun glare ideally i should be coming from down that way but that's going with the wind when you go and get your pots you want to go against it there's my pot you want to go against it so there's my pot right there i'll just explain why so i can come on this side which i don't like i like using the right hand side of the boat All right, just curious. Now it feels very empty. Very empty. Okay, that's not good. Nothing here as well. Zero. Got a crab, small one. I'll measure him. Yeah, he's a smallie. Thank God there's life. Two pots and no crabs. It's getting a bit worried. <laughs> getting a bit worried. Oh, I felt something here. Oh my God. I'm in the kindergarten here. Oh, this feels good. Yeah, pretty much similar size crabs. Bit of weed down there. Yeah, I don't think it was size anyway. <laughs> oh my god, I think I might move this further up a bit. I think my pots are a bit, a bit too close. <laughs> Believe it or not, as the boat approaches the pot, the crabs the crabs can actually get spooked by the engine. And they run off. So. Oh, this one got stuffed up big time.
What happened there? Yeah, I feel something in here. Oh yeah, that's more like it. That's more like it. Two in the one pot. It just might be. One's a female. One's a male. Over here in WA, if the females are size and they haven't got eggs, you can keep them. Beauty, he's in. And I'd say she's in too. Yes. So we have two in the one pot. That definitely makes up for the, uh, the all the blanks over there. That's awesome. And the reason I got them in here, I reckon, because I've been soaking the longest. Whoa. Whoa. Right. Runs on the board. So two in the one pot. Now my limit here is 10 crabs. So eight more and I've bagged out. Not saying that can happen, but I mean two in the one pot. That's yeah, that's really good. Everybody's like this. You go fishing and you can get that gut sinking feeling if you don't catch any small ones, like I know what's going on. Two sides, look, I'm, I'm pretty content. I think it's time to open up the beer. As soon as I drop these two pots down, spread them out a bit. It's awesome. Now, these ones have probably been soaking a bit longer. Hopefully that means crab on board. Yeah, you can't fill any here. Oh, no, yes, I do. Yes, I do. There's a small one. Measure him up. No, it's a small one. Way too small. All right. Into the sun, I just can't see the pots, Poppy. That's why it's good to have him in a direct line it's over there. Can I? I can see the oil slick. Bit of weight in this one. Could be weed. My goodness. That's a dinosaur of a crab. <laughs> now I think this one's got the camera on it. I'll put a camera. See if we get some footage of a crab in there, maybe. Oh my god. I don't need footage, that's a big one. <laughs> that's what we're talking. Oh my god, put him down there. Throw this straight away. That is a big one. Yeah. Beautiful bluey. Blue swimmer crab. You beauty. That is what we are on about. Yeah. 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 Maybe this one's got the camera. And there's a crab in it. Nice. Small one. G'day guys. <laughs> it's a small crab. This is long line. Feels weedy. Feels heavy. Hold. That is a lot of crabs. One, two, three, four, five crabs. And I can't see if any of these are a size. So if I had five legals in here, I would have beautiful cleaned up. Too small. Yeah, too small, too small. So that's a big haul of crabs. <laughs> Beauty. I pulled him up, said, ah, I'm going to put the camera on. And he almost jumped out. And I was very tempted to actually put these pots in the deeper water, but looks like the crabs are starting to come in. 
that's another fine specimen. It's definitely size. Yeah, good, good size. I like these ones. They're about centimetre over. Good size. Put them in a really cold slurry of water. I've got no ice. They're just ice box. Keep them nice and fresh. Righty. The wind has died down a fair bit. Let's hope there's a crab here. Oh yeah. Let's hope. That's a dinosaur of a crab. That's what we want. That is what we want. Big, bluey. What do you reckon? Yeah, lovely. I'm not even going to measure it. It's probably that much oversized. I'll measure it anyway. Don't like bragging, but that is a, a stonker of a blue swimmer crab. Yeah, beauty. Right. Alrighty. Let's try again. Nah, no wait. Oh no, I got a crab. Small one. Small one. Might put another bait in that one. The wind has died down a bit. A bit. So you can see about this pot, there's a bit of an oil slick. Hopefully the bait is nice and juicy. Oh yeah. Well, it, it feels feels um heavy. Okay. Again, with the camera and a small crab. Come on, give us a big two kilo crab. Ooh, this feels good. Feels good, and it looks good. Deceptively, he just won't make the grade. Oh, he's just under. That's a shame. Ugh. Oh yeah, that's better. It's actually missing a leg. But that's a good size I want there. Missing a leg means there's a chance of me not getting clipped. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's go well tank what up to. Oops. That's another one there, it's too small, but this one is definitely a keeper. Yeah beauty. That's what we want. That's what we want. You can fill him for the net. You can fill him for the net. He's definitely going to be a size. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Again, the chicken done it. Don't know why I'm worried about with fish. And there are some states in Australia where there are laws of what kind of bait you can use. In WA we can use uh, basically anything. Meat, chicken, fish products. That's a beauty of a crab. I just love them. Oh, nearly lost him. And it's been very quiet. Oh, here you go. Two small crabs. Yeah. Um, so I'm actually gonna move these pots Oh, come on. Oh, a bit of weight on it. Unbelievable. The metal gauge says it's in. Unbelievable. Woo! Oh, I had to double check. Yep, let's get out of here. Woo! guys look at these beautiful crabs 
I just love the colours of them when they're raw. Good sizes. I'm only going to cook up two. One for me and one for mum. And I'm going to really cook it nice and easy. Let's quickly clean these beautiful things up. You can see it's just so clean. So clean and fresh. Crack them open. With a bit of a rinse to get rid of that gut. Backyard kitchen. I uh, just got this big dish here. Put in some olive oil as a base. Straight away some chopped up garlic. Just one tomato. I want some parsley. Beautiful. Some chilies. Now these are green. I don't know if they're going to be hot. So I'll pick two. No, these chilies are hot. <laughs> they are pretty hot, even though they're green. Nice and mild, hot. I'm going to throw everything in here. Got the lid on. I've got a wok as a lid. I told you this wind is shocking. A bit more olive oil. And just let that saute for about five minutes. All right, so that's firing up pretty good. Basically just dump that in there. I should put in an extra crab, rock salt, some basil. Basil goes well with seafood big time. Chuck that in. Oh yeah. Good stir. Tempted to put white wine in there, but I really don't like white wine with crabs. It's like an El Natural. Check this guy out. Subscribe to Dom's. Yes, good on you, mate. Sound like a no. What a good boy. Right, so I got some water here. Relax, it's not beer. Just to get some more juice. So I can steam away. There you go. Hmm? Oh my god. He's pissed. Yeah, I know. I dropped the beer. Yeah, that's looking really good. Bit of crusty bread to soak up all those sauces. Not long now. Yum ho. Yum ho. Okay, time for the taste test. While I'm here, just want to thank everybody that's been buying my merch. Got the apron and my caps found on the website. Description below the link of this movie. Thanks so much, guys. Now, now, let's get into it. What do you reckon, eh? Simple crabs. I'm just gonna grab a little piece. And look at that, look at that. Oh yeah, ooh, it's hot. I'm just gonna crack open this back bit. That's always the best bit. Ouch. Oh, and it's so fresh, all the meat just come off it. Mm. Nice. Let's open the claw. Everyone loves the claw. Knock and knock. There you go. So, the, for some reason, they're a bit not as full as usual. Something to do with the moon, but absolutely spot on. You know what to do if you like the show. Make sure you subscribe, give us a like and a comment, and uh, take care. Don't want petite. See you mm -hmm. next time. Fish, oh, I tucker, just love fish, the fresh crabs. Tucker, fish, tucker, Yum. man. I'm gonna try the sauce. Fish, tucker, fish, tucker, the fish, tucker, yes. man. Sweet, mate. <laughs>